Damn it, I screwed it up again and this is my last print. If only there was some kind of newfangled technology that would allow me to see what other people look like with beehive hairdos. Wait a second, I got it. I think I saw an ad for a makeover game in a magazine once. Maybe it's still there. Let's see here. No, 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 hmm. Well, what do you know? Cosmopolitan virtual makeover. What a strange coincidence that I would find one here. Ever want to pull Madonna and evolve your look a bajillion times without the hassle of doing anything at all? Well, now you can with Cosmopolitan Virtual Makeover, an application designed to make you look fucking ridiculous. When I was a little girl, this program intrigued me so much that I begged my bewildered father to buy it for me. I could not wait to go home, boot it up, and find the perfect haircut just for me. At the time, it was impossible for my pre-teenage brain to understand exactly what a pile of crap this program actually was. What I wanted was essentially Photoshop. What I got was a blatant ad for CoverGirl and a way to make my friends look like weirdos, which isn't so bad if you just want to have a bit of fun, but this program is not going to help you make any informed fashion choices anytime soon. For this game, I had to boot up ye old Windows 98. Taste the nostalgia. Pong, ding, 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 ding. Why are you still using Windows 98? Here's what the program looks like, but before we do anything at all, I need to choose the appropriate in-game music. This is just what I need to pump up the jam for makeup and hairstyling. Either track reeks of 1990s dance music. Huh, this sounds oddly familiar. Another night, another dream, but always. I would just like to state that everything I have learned about makeup I have learned from 1990s goth girls and RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's just say I have an extensive collection of bright red lipstick and black wigs. Here we have all of these options. Wow. Hairstyles, foundations, eyebrows? Eyebrows? Alright, I get to put my 1990s goth girl black sharpie marker skills to use. You can either upload a picture of yourself or someone else, but if you don't have any, you can just practice on these models. I decided to practice on models because, obviously, I don't need a makeover. After a few minutes of attempting to use all of the options, all of the bad memories came flooding back. Everything looks like crap. Everything. The foundation? Crap. The eyebrows? Crap. The blush? Crap. This is what happened when I tried my very best to make something good looking. I contoured the face, applied the blush, highlighted parts of the face, drew on the best eyebrows I could, defined the lips, and I got this. Better than a stick in the eye, but look at these eyebrows! There is absolutely no subtle way to accentuate the eyebrows without drawing them on line by line, resulting in completely unrealistic, cartoony eyebrows that just don't match the hair. The foundation just kind of smears all over the face. I can just put layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer. You can define the lips and just overlay some colors on top of them, but I find that the colors are really boring. Even the brightest red isn't very bright at all, and I'm sorry, but the Robert Smith in me wants the brightest red possible. The only thing you can't really mess up is the beauty mark option. I was wrong. But still, what a completely useless feature. Did they really have to create a separate tool for applying a black dot? Does one thing. Creates a dot. There's also an option to put in contact lenses to change somebody's eye color, but they don't make much of a difference if you ask me. In fact, they're slightly terrifying and unnatural looking. I mean, come on, who would seriously want unnatural looking eyes? <laughs> Stupid. The hairstyles are actually the best thing about this program and probably one of the main selling points, but even they're pretty basic and the colors are limited. Where are the bright reds, the greens, the mohawks? Everything is just so basic. There's also a category up here for more creative choices, and I'm sorry, these just aren't doing it for me at all. A swimming cap? Ugh, this thing is stunting my creativity and artistic expression. The game is nice enough to track everything you use, just so you know which CoverGirl products to buy. It even comes with this handy makeup tips page. Gosh, I'm so glad they included eyeliner and mascara tips in here and not the program itself. They did include eyeshadow, but I can't zoom in on the eyes. So yeah, just kind of smear that shit all over your eye like you would in real life. Don't worry if it's a bit off. People will be too busy staring at your glaringly misplaced beauty mark. Now I'm sure all y'all are just dying to know what I look like with a beard or a big old glamazon wig, but fuck, I'm already fierce. I don't need a makeover. I like my look. I do, however, have some glamour shots of some of my friends.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching me humiliate my friends. If you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel, or you can send me horrible makeover pictures via my other social venues, Twitter, Patreon, and Facebook. And remember, true beauty is not reflected by what you look like, it's determined by how big your video game collection is. Bye bye now.